Welcome to Cruiser Guitars and welcome to my best Ben impression. Today I will be working on the SG in lieu of Ben. Um, there's not too much left to do on this build now. Uh, I've got to drill some bridge holes, I've got to make a back plate, I've got to do some carving of the heel and then it's sanding and finishing. So uh, let's get to it. Okay, so I'm going to be working on the back plate. Um, what I really need to make sure is that I get this curve here correct and the correct angle for the lines here. So the easiest thing to do will just be line that straight up edge up with another straight edge here. Okay, so as you can see, I've got as close as I am comfortable with the power tools. There's still a little bit of a gap, but that just, I think I just need to take the corners off the, uh, the curve here. So I'm gonna do that with a leveling beam. I'm gonna round that corner. And I'm gonna do the same on this one. And now we can see fits like a glove. Okay, so the neck that Ben has used on this is a 25 inch PRS scale neck, which puts the scale length here, really close to the bridge pickup. Got my center line, I've got the, whatever you call this thing, protractory crimson knee thing. Um, don't know the exact name for it, but I'm sure it'll pop up on your screen right now. Um, so once you've found the center, I'm going to go 37 either side, make a mark.
And then from the 37, I'm going to go three mil down. One, two, three. Three mil down, shut up, Sam. And one mil down on the treble side. And that will give us the, the correct distance for the posts and the slight angle of the bridge that you see on uh, Tunematics. Might have to put it this way around so the screws aren't next to P90. Okay, so drilled the bridge holes and now I'm going to mark for the tailpiece. So normally I go 40 mil back along the center line and mark it there and that's where the tailpiece is going to go. I have measured multiple Gibsons and Epiphones and different SGs and Les Pauls to see what measurement that is, but they're all slightly different. The closer you put it, the steeper the angle, or the further back you put it, the shallower the angle of the strings. But you want to you want to put it where there is an angle, um, and that doesn't look silly, basically. So yeah, I found forty mil is a good good place to put it. And then I'm going to mark forty one either side. Okay, so I'm just going to clean up the glue from this area here and then we're going to make a essentially a little redwood scratch plate even though it's not to protect from scratches but it's going to hide this bit anyway. And uh, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to measure, draw a line back, the 14 and a half mil-ish. And then I'm going to essentially draw a P90 pickup route in the center and then use that as a guide to make my little plate. Okay. I'm happy with that. I'm just going to go and cut it out. Okay, so I have shaped a piece. It looks a little bit thick and not quite right at the minute, so let's uh, put some shape on it, shall we?
Okay, so I think what I'm going to do is part inlay this piece, probably down to the bevel line, just to make it more flush. Nice shut up scalpel blade, scored around the outside. At this stage, we've got a few little bits and pieces. Hi, I'm Ben. I started this build and Matt's sort of finishing it for me because uh, you know, my middle name is currently uh, Executive Dysfunction. There have been a few interesting things and in the next episode, I am going to be in my home workshop finessing a few bits and pieces. The body, for example, uh, by way of it being uh, very, very soft wood. Uh, and in spite of the fact that it was nice and dry, has still shrunk. So I'm gonna be finessing a little bit around the neck joint, finishing this carve, and just looking around the whole instrument and, and making sure I'm happy with all of the final little bits and pieces and shapes. So yeah, tune in in a few days for that. This build is finally coming to a conclusion. Thanks for watching. See you soon.